Hello. Hello, hello. Um, I'd like to record a message for you. Lips, so funny you say in. that, because That's the nice. first the first story. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Lips, the new night guard, has started his first shift alone in the security office at 1am. Things were pretty normal for a while until Lips heard what sounded like Freddy in the dark corridor to his right. What do you do? I pull out my uh, my Glock 18 with flashlight attachment and I and I peer out the door to see what's going Lips on. Lips pulls out his Glock 18 with flashlight attachments and looks down the hallway. He sees nothing and continues checking the cameras. Then suddenly something grabs him by the neck from behind and throws him against the wall. <laughs> Whoa there, buddy, a familiar voice says. You don't want to do this. It's Foxy the Pirate. No right, way. I a, okay, I have a theory, right? I have a theory. Foxy's a pirate. So all I need to do is, is ask for parlay. Lips requests a parlay like since it's... Foxy is a pirate. Foxy agrees and leads him I'm back really... to the stage. Told you, they talk told about you. the animatronics and how they became evil. Foxy also tells him the story of when Freddy came to life and ran away with his friends. Foxy says that it was a few months later that Freddy Fazbear had come back and ordered all of his friends taken off the... Market. <laughs> Foxy said that it would have been impossible to remove them, so f what is he talking about? Later on that night, Lips hears a strange noise coming from his office. The door is unlocked and the lights aren't working. He unlocks the door slowly and walks inside, gun drawn. Okay, Did you I run out of power? No, I have an idea here, I have an idea. Okay, you know, it's talking about how he became evil. So Foxy's saying when he was a child, Freddy Fazbear, aka William Afton, came back and ordered that all of, all of William Afton's friends were taken off the fucking cell block. I don't know. And so that's, what are you that's talking Foxy about? <laughs> no, I'm talking about the Foxy law, man. This is the least complicated theory for this game. Good news is I have a gun. I, I still have my gun. Can we just check the time to see if it's 6am? No, can no, just, no, go, what carry, is, on, I, carry on, carry okay, on. Okay, hang on, hang on. What are the requirements for this story? Do I have to stay the entire night? Well, you, you either survive to 6 a.m. or I guess you somehow find a way to kill the animatronics. <laughs> Can, couldn't I just leave? Well, but then you're not doing your job. Ugh. Like, dude, imagine if, like, you're playing the first game, you just click on the door and the guy leaves immediately. That's not how it works. <laughs> okay, so I'm not allowed to leave, is what you're saying. Okay, um... Can I fire a warning shot? <laughs> and yell, I know you're out there, stay away. Suddenly, Bonnie appears in front of him, grabbing him and pushing his face against the wall. Then she's, she starts ripping his throat open with her teeth. What? She then, oh my god. What? Lips screams as he falls over Bonnie's body. Am you just I alive? Died. I don't think I did. Well, she ripped your, like, Right, throat. but I, I did scream, which indicates I'm alive. A few days remember, after the incident, <laughs> Lips' wife comes Wait. home unexpectedly from work. She finds him next to body, dead. <gasps> hang on, 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 hang dead. on. No, 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 no. This is a few days after. I survived the night. No, you didn't survive, you died in there. Yeah, you no, died when Bonnie killed No, 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 I survived the night. She came she... back from work and then she... Well, what did she do for work? Is she a pilot? <laughs> you live in the pizzeria. There is a note on the table saying he had a bad feeling about the night shift. It was too late for him to say goodbye or explain things to his wife and kids. So Personally, yeah, you are I dead. Think, no, you I think dead. I lived the night. No, you didn't live. You, you died. Live. You died. A few nights later. Yeah, no, a few nights the later. incident happened and then a few days later, lived this, lip, your wife no, discovers your body. I, never says that I die of my injuries. Though. All right, lips died immediately. Me oh, could turn no, again. Okay, okay. Again. Finally, what I do is I pull out the old cryostasis chamber, <laughs> sit in it for <laughs> until it goes to six a.m. If this actually works, I'm gonna throw my PC against the wall. Me could pulls out his trusty cryostasis chamber. His plan is to stay in the chamber until it hits six a.m. That's a smart idea, unless they come in. He closes the door behind him as he goes into the darkness. It like completely he's... ignored that. I... The no, corridor. No, 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 no. I feel like like Mika's character here for some reason thinks that a fridge is like a cryostasis game. <laughs> so like the kitchen's a fridge. All right, so he enters, and a very familiar face peered down at him from the shadows. So you're finally here, me good. I knew you would come after me. Who is this guy? Well, it's Ready. just it's just my old friend. I <laughs> greet him with a very charismatic hello. Hello, everyone. I don't know where you think you'll go and I'm dead, me good. The shadow replies. You've already tried to kill us once and failed. Now it's time to try again. It's Freddy. Freddy <gasps> smiles. 
He could attempt to escape by squeezing through the doorway, but Freddy grabs his arm and pulls him back. Is this all happening within the fridge? Yeah. <laughs> is this a dream? No, this is a fridge. Okay, 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 okay. I tell him off for being a bad friend and tell him to be more caring next time. I want to see what happens. There's no way this works. There's no way this works. If it does, I'm, I'm still gonna Freddy win. says, if I wanted to care about you, I wouldn't have killed you last night. <laughs> no, shut up and let me He's finish. dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's no, dead. it's a clone of me. Okay, no, he killed clone. you last night. He killed you last night. Remember how there were three different meat goods in the first one? No, you're dead. You're dead. No, wait, 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 wait. What about the next sentence where he says, Freddy's head rears back and he begins to laugh. You thought I killed you? So maybe he's lying to I him. I wasn't dead. Maybe he's okay, lying. Okay, he's okay, he's, okay, he's gaslighting next, me. What the next. hell? I want to know if he's dead or not. Think again, meat good. You were dead the whole what, time. Again? Told you! Told you, he's dead! He was dead before this whole thing began. No matter how hard you struggled, no matter how much you screamed, it didn't matter, because there was nothing left inside that body but a husk. You're the but one who got that book. There are yeah. updates available! Alright, new update. Story 2. So this is a, uh... <laughs> oh no! This is a lost oh. episode creepypast. No! Everybody who knows me knows that I personally grew up on the, the hit cartoon show Breaking Bad fan animation 2019. Uh... What company made Breaking Bad? No, Breaking it's a Breaking Bad, Bad fan animation. <laughs> what, can I have a, Can you give me an actual cartoon? That's not a- that is a cartoon. <laughs> well, do I do- if it's a fan animation, I'll pull it to smosh. YouTube. Just put Smosh. I don't know. Put Smosh <laughs> <as the laughs> If company. I put no, Smosh, do I, smosh, smosh, do I make I'm the company smosh. YouTube? Okay, you know what? Put, like, Minecraft YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> put- a, put Dan TDM, okay? Yeah, yeah, he was yeah, yeah, watching- TDM, he was watching yeah. a Minecraft, like, yeah, put mod Dan review. TDM, Dan TDM. Oh, okay, so I guess he became an intern at YouTube. Now, be good. So, he's going to find the disc, right? Okay. What is the episode called? It's oh, called. Mika gets to decide this. Yeah. Oh, it is okay. called. If he puts like Chase of the Unkillable Machine or something, like, <laughs> that's a Christ. Lips, full name Lips Lips, is oh, a hey man there, who Grim. grew up watching Dan TDM. That is why when he became an intern at YouTube, he was ecstatic as he got to work at the place that produced his Grim. favorite show. Oh, hey there, uh, One day, his boss asked him to watch over his office while he went out for the day. After he left, Lips noticed a strange disc laid on the desk. It was a Minecraft episode, though one he had never seen before. It was titled Minecraft Unkillable Girlfriend Mod. Yeah, imagine, imagine if YouTube just stored videos on like Blu-ray discs. What is uh, this I called? guess I, uh, I play the disc. The I'm intro shows the narrator playing with his girlfriend on a desert yeah. island. <laughs> If we're both having fun until she falls into the ocean and drowns. Oh, she's the dead. The screen then changes to show the character named Lips crying in front of a computer, which has a picture of his dead girlfriend on it. Wait, that's a, that's Wait, a very a morbid dancey DM. I got bitches. Thank you, story. Dude, the computer is like mocking you. No, the AI gave me bitches, man. Apparently, I have No, it's life. mocking you. You like played this episode, and in it, you see yourself crying on the computer. All right. I, I asked the computer if it wants a fight. Rips angrily yells at the computer. Do you want a fight, mate? He then turns around and sees a floating head of what appears to be an ender dragon, yelling, You fucking had one job! <laughs> Lips then looks down at his legs, where he notices his skin is turning black. No, not the yeah, ender I'm dragon, it's back! The ender dragon's gonna rot me! You're dying, like, right now. What do you do? Uh, oh, shit. Okay, I pull out Resident Evil first aid kit, aka a bottle of herbs, and I and I smear it on my blackened skin. Lip smears the bottle of herbs from Resident Evil on his legs. Just a random video game items. This will surely work. This causes him to become part skeleton. Next thing you know, he's punching the head of Ender Dragon, destroying it. Oh, I win then. Rips then walks away from the scene, then he wakes up back in the office with a new job title, Head of YouTube. No! What? Oh my god, I got the- like, the It best did ending. what? I got the it best did what? ending! He got the best ending. What the he hell? He killed the Ender Dragon and got Minecraft promoted. Girlfriend mod. The Minecraft girlfriend never came out, but the Ender Dragon just <laughs> rocked me. Oh my god, that is so bullshit. Come on, man. What the hell? Okay, meat good. Full name, meat good. Lips. Alright, meat good. What's the cartoon? 
It has to be courage. You ready for the episode name? What is it? Okay, what is it? This is a shit show, Courage Dies. I upload the video to YouTube straight away. You know, without even watching it? <laughs> no. Mikud uploads the video to YouTube straight away. The next day, he gets <laughs> fired from his job and is unable to find another one because of all the trouble his mistake caused. He Hang then on. decided to live in his parents' basement until the internet explodes with angry comments about his upload. <laughs> <laughs> Do I win? How does this sound like a win to you? You're stuck in your parents' basement. Well, I did. Yeah, he did. He did upload the video, but he didn't like watch it or survive anything. No. <laughs> is this, is oh, this a win? Oh, is this I a reroll? Should we reroll? No, no. Yeah, reroll. Re yeah, actually reroll. Sure. This is too ambiguous. He gets a lot of views and makes a lot of money from it. However, after a few months, the video is taken down by YouTube due to copyright infringement. A month later, the same episode is uploaded again, but this time in HD quality. Is... Uh, do I... I <laughs> did I win again? No, you didn't win! You didn't do anything yet! No, it happened yet! <laughs> I did! You're just trying to find a way to like completely no, skip what everything. What? What do I do now? I've, I have money. I, I I guess he got money from this. Can you watch it on your gold-plated flat-screen TV? <laughs> okay, okay. Well, this is what I do. I take down the HD upload and I copyright it so that I get all the revenue from it. Dude, the first three stories had some crazy, creepy stuff happening. Now it's just like, Miku becomes a YouTuber. He begins uploading every single Courage episode <laughs> into high definition. <laughs> However, after a year of doing so, he starts getting a headache because of how much time he spends editing. <laughs> In videos. <laughs> he takes medicine that is prescribed to him by Dr. Cartoon. <laughs> Dr. Cartoon? Uh, nothing's happening. No. There isn't anything happening. Which I, I'm very upset with this news already. What is, okay, what is the goal? What is the win condition? Well, I would. I expected like either some entity to happen because you watched it, like in Lips' situation where the Ender Dragon came, or that we... you'd burn the disc or something, but you just uploaded it to YouTube for some reason. Can we add some shit being like, Courage is now hunting Miku or some shit? Oh yeah, yeah actually, actually, sure, sure. What Miku <laughs> didn't know is that the medicine would make him hallucinate, <laughs> use this bag trying to kill him. No. No, you can't do this to me. You can't do this. I'm going to die straight away next to the, like, AI thing. Miku soon realizes that he has been hallucinating and goes back home, where he lives alone. Why is it just roasting you? Like, you, li you live alone and Eustace Bag is hunting you down. Alright, so Eustace Bag is okay, hunting you down. Okay. What do you do? Okay, okay, uh, right, no, just put, like, Eustace Bag appears in my room. What do you do or something like that? Suddenly, Eustace appears in Mikud's room with an axe. Stupid Mikud, I'm gonna kill ya! The next morning, Mikud wakes up and sees Eustace standing him. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? You are such a loser, you will never be anything. Eustace then chops off Mikud's head with- I don't get to do anything! <laughs> I don't get to do anything about this. <laughs> you told me to do this. You can't complain. Okay, hey man, no, you no, could have no. done something but if you actually in a in a flash of time. You don't get a quick time event. <laughs> yeah, you don't get it. it. What? Is, this isn't even fair. I uploaded a video. I don't know. You think mine was better? I have Minecraft Ender Dragon. You kill the Ender Dragon. Itself. You, you got you got an option to kill it. I didn't get an option. Story three. Wait, actually, this one's gonna need some backstory. You guys know what Jeff the Killer is, right? Yeah, oh, no. Christ, okay. Yeah. Yep. For some reason, this story spawned like thousands and thousands of copycats where it was like, this character the killer, this character the killer, and you were all worse oh, we doing, like, than the last one. Oh, the pirate the killer or something? No, no, no. So I was like, hmm, why don't I make my own edgy killer OC? No. Introduce it. Maxwell the Killer. Oh. <laughs> No! Okay then, well, I guess we're we good. We are doomed. And uh be good, what is Maxwell the Killer's signature weapon? It has to be his gaming <laughs> controller. Lips and his friend Kellogg are two friends that go to the same high school. Every day they would bully this kid called Maxwell and insult his appearance. However, one day everything changed. It was a snowy day outside, making it dangerous to leave the school. Lips and Kellogg are talking in an empty hallway as usual. 
when Maxwell approaches. As usual. Out of nowhere, he instantly kills Kellek with his signature weapon, the Gamity Controller. Maxwell is about to kill Lips when he hears the bell ring. He points his weapon at Lips and says, You're next. So my best friend's being killed by a gaming controller, right? Obviously, the only logical solution is to realize that the bell has rang, so I need to get to class. So I go to class. That's Lips, fine. not caring about his dead friend, heads to class. As he leaves the hallway, Maxwell turns around and shoots him in the head. Oh Christ, I Maxwell guess then already. proceeds to chase after Lips into a classroom where he shoots and kills everyone who gets in his way. One by one, Maxwell kills all of them. You know, all Wait. with his gaming controller. So I live the gunshot to the head? It's not a gunshot, it's a gaming controller. I think he just pointed it at you and pressed A. Oh, oh, my mistake, my mistake. And he kills all of them until he finds Lips sitting on the floor in front of a desk. I challenge him to a game of Smash Up for my life. Maxwell accepts the challenge, but only if he can bring out his own controller. After agreeing, they begin their match with an intense battle between both controllers. Eventually, Maxwell's gaming stick breaks off from its connector. Let's go! What? What? His Joy-Con broke! <laughs> How did that they happen? A gaming stick! What's, a gaming what's happening? Stick. So what do you do? What do you do, Lips? What do you well, do? Well, his controller's broken, so I clearly win Smash Up. Let's, let's wait for his reaction. I want a three- no, no, Orange, I want a three-stock Maxwell the Killer. After noticing Maxwell's broken controller, Lips begins three-stocking him in Smash Up. The two continue fighting for some time. Although Lips has no idea how to use any other controllers, he's still able to defeat Maxwell. Go! After the fight ends, Lips realizes that he doesn't have a controller. No, what? this is did where you, the creepy you, pastor begins. Did you beat him with your mind or something? I guess I psychically beat Maxwell the killer. Okay, well now what? I don't um, know. Yeah, do I win? Because I did beat him in Smash Let's press send. Let's just, yeah, maybe he next. goes like, oh, I guess you defeated well, if me. If we hit next and I die, I'm actually going to be fuming. He asks Maxwell if he could borrow his, which he agrees to. After finishing the game, Maxwell goes home to his room. Upon arriving at his house, Maxwell immediately uses his deadly weapon against his mother. So he what? uses the Maxwell's mother he gave me to kill Maxwell's mother. I, or, I, I think I think you've mother. somehow become his friend because he's not killing you and he's just gaming with you. Is he killing? Okay, his okay. Mother lips, or my mother? lips. Ask Maxwell if he's your. Well, I already <laughs> won. I think. No, go ask him. Go no, ask he's him. still right, killing no, yeah. people. Yeah, Megan's a good. Megan's got a good idea. I asked Maxwell if he's my if he's my friend or Reno. Lips yeah. asks Maxwell if he is still his neighbor Reno. Maxwell says, "Of course." And then oh, they have Maxwell says we're... yes and thanks him for lending his controller. They I part win. ways and Lips returns to school the next day. I win. I win. What the <laughs> story <laughs> happened? He respects you now. Yeah, he respects me for destroying him in Smash Up. Alright, Lips, what oh, is yeah. his signature weapon? His signature weapon, of course, because this is Maxwell. He obviously, very, very obviously, pulls out his light machine gun. <laughs> no! <laughs> He's giving you no chances. <laughs> yeah, man, I want to win this one. I got absolutely swept on the last one. So he just pointed his light machine gun at you and is like, you're next. What do you do? I jam his machine gun with the dead body of Kelly. As he tries to run away, Maxwell chases him down. Miku turns around and sees Maxwell coming towards him with his shotgun. Oh, he has a backup weapon. He has an arsenal! Miku runs into the classroom and locks himself inside. The door closes behind him while Maxwell is still outside. Um... <laughs> I call in a tactical nuke, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Mikud, realizing he is outmatched, resorts to calling a tactical nuke. However, before he can trigger it, Maxwell breaks through the wall and shoots him in the back. Mikud, you just lost, it's 2-0. What the hell? I d oh, fine. At least- uh, Lips now got you a know single how it win. Feels. Come on. You know how it feels! Listen, man, it's not over yet. It's story four. The real horror isn't any monster. It's the law. All right, Lips, give me a game you like so much you would pirate it. Uh, would I pirate any game? Uh, uh let's go with Doom 64. Doom 64. What about Doom 65? 
Lips has been waiting for the video game Doom 64 to come out for as long as he can remember. When he found out the game costed $500, he was in shock as he couldn't afford it. So he wrote a letter to Santa Claus asking for Doom 64. When Christmas came, he was extremely disappointed to find that Santa did not give him the game he wanted. With only one option left, he pirated the game. Once the game was downloaded, a pop-up opened saying, You should not have done that. Suddenly, there was police sirens outside his house. Oh shit, so the police are here. <laughs> Um, I ignore them and start playing Doom 64. I don't care, they're, they're probably not after me, I just pirated the video game. Lips ignores the sounds, believing they are not after him, and continues playing his pirated video game. A little later, the police burst into his room with his guns drawn, pointed at his head. Freeze, says one of the officers. Lips' eyes widen in fear as he is told to raise his hands up. They, they just caught you in the act. This is getting interesting. I put my hands up and start dancing. <laughs> He's just been like exposed for pirating the game. The police burst into his room and what he does, he puts his hands up and starts dancing. He then looks down to see all his limbs cut off. Oh. <laughs> the cops laugh and walk away, leaving his dead body on the floor. This is how it feels when you pirate software. There's no way around it. If you want to play video games, you need money to get them. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. AI. <laughs> Can I finally get a comeback? Is this the Miku's comeback? Alright, Miku, what game do you want? Team Fortress 2. What about Team Fortress 3? Team Fortress 2. Why do you 2? keep trying to, try to one-up the games? You went from <laughs> Doom 64 to Doom 65, and now you want Team Fortress 3. No, uh, come on. <laughs> I want it to be interesting, I want to put it in the title. Alright, so you pirated Team Fortress 2, even though it's free. And now, uh, there's sirens outside your house, what do you do? I quickly build a level 3 century. <laughs> <laughs> the cops were so surprised by this, that they forgot about the little boy who copied the game. Now whenever he is at home playing TF2, his sentry will shoot anyone who comes near his house. Okay, great, so he wins. So that was easy. <laughs> that was really fucking easy. Wow, I won, I killed the cops. Right. How did so I think of that? You might be like, oh, it's 1-2, there's no way Mikud can win, right? Right? Well, it's 1-2, there's no way Mikud could win, right? Well, right. what if I told you there was a fifth story? No way. I mean, uh, still, the most he can do is tie it. Welcome to How the Gru Ruined Christmas. Oh my fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do we, do we, go, do we give Miku to go first? Yeah, no, 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 no. Have lips, have lips. No, have Miku goes first. If he loses, what? the video ends. What? <laughs> no! Okay, 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 okay. Every okay. survivor yeah, doubted yeah, the yeah, constant yeah. liked Christmas a lot. But the Gru who lived north of the constant did not. The Gru hated Christmas, the whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask why, no one quite knows the reason. It could be perhaps that his claws were too tight. It could be his head feared the light. Then he growled, with his Gru fingers nervously drumming. I must find some way to keep Christmas from coming. For tomorrow, I know Meat Good will wake up bright and early. Then I'll kill him where he stood. Meat Good wakes up one day and reads a newspaper that the Gru is coming to town. Okay, do do? we all no, he froze me in water and drank. That's why re I really came prepared this Christmas with the new Mikud officially branded scuba gear. <laughs> oh my god, it's from the back room. It's a reference. I put it on and I wait for him to come. Mikud puts on the officially branded Mikud scuba gear. No more drowning. He goes out into the sea, swims through the sewers, and finds the only door leading outside. However, it has been welded shut by the Gru. Do you live in a simulation? No, I live in Grusville. So he tries to cut his way out, but unfortunately for him, the Gru turns the water into acid and melts all Mental all what? Go on, keep going, keep going, man. Uh -oh, so this might just kill you. This might just kill you. <laughs> no, if this kills me. Up, no, Honestly, no, that no, would no. be amazing. Please tell me he does. The Gru one-ups me every time. What the <laughs> <laughs> he always finds a way to be better, man. You, like, he drowns you. You put on scuba gear. He turns it to acid. Melts all of his equipment, including his skin. The last thing we could see is before dying is the face of the Gru saying, Tomorrow is Christmas. 